Hey, what's up guys? Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate that. My name is Tobias and welcome to another Microphone Monday where I upload new microphone reviews and microphone comparisons every Monday. And today what I have for you guys is a brand new microphone. I've never tried it out before. It is called the Vegway VM30. It's been a pretty long time since I've reviewed a Vegway microphone. So I'm pretty excited to try this one out and see what I think about it. So I have the VM30 right here in front of me on my desk. The audio that you're actually listening to right now is coming from the VM30. And I'm also monitoring the audio in my headphones so I can hear exactly how it sounds as well. So this microphone uses a cardioid pickup pattern, meaning that it picks up audio from right here in front of the microphone. And the box boasts that you should get some clear sound from it. So let's just see how clear the sound is. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to tell you a bit about this microphone. Then I'm going to do several different audio tests so we can get a feel for how it sounds. And then in the end, I'll tell you guys what I think about it and give you guys my final review. So let's just start off really quick by taking a look at this microphone on Amazon. As you can see, there are two different buying options. If you get the one with the blue trim, like the one that I have, it costs $32.99. But if you want the one with the red trim, it costs $34.99. So there's just like a $2 price difference depending on the color you want. And then it also comes with free shipping. So we are in that budget USB microphone range. But anyway, as you guys can see, it's a fairly simple setup. It comes with the microphone, the tripod desk stand. It comes with a very interesting USB cable, one that I've never seen before. One end of it is just the USB type C, and then the other end of it is a regular USB plug, but it also has the USB type C plug as well. Just in case you have a computer where you need that USB type C plug, um, I know that a lot of the new Apple computers, uh, they only have the USB type C ports on them. So you would need that USB type C plug if you do have like a newer Apple computer. And then as you can see, there is also a pop filter on the front of the microphone. So one cool thing is that right out of the box, there's pretty much no assembly required. The microphone is already pretty much assembled. You pretty much just need to unfold the desk stand and that's about it. And one thing that caught my eye right out of the box is that it really reminds me of this other microphone that I have called the JLab Taco. As you can see, there is a pretty big resemblance between the two microphones, especially in the desk stand. And then if you look under the microphone, there's all these microphone controls. The VM30 has a volume wheel, which controls the volume for your headphones. There's also a headphone jack on the microphone for that direct monitoring. And then of course the port to plug in that USB type C cable. If you look at the front of the microphone, there is a mute button right on the front of the microphone, which is really cool. Also, it has that blue foam inside the microphone just like the JLab Talk Go. And actually the next thing that caught my eye is that the mic holder, which also kind of seems to double as a shock mount, resembles what we've seen on some of the toner microphones. So if you look at the toner TC777 or the toner TC30, you'll notice that they have a very similar mic holder where the microphone is kind of suspended by rubber bands. And I believe that's supposed to kind of act as a shock mount. And I actually forgot to put this in earlier, but here's a diagram of this microphone's frequency response in case you're interested. When I plugged the VM30 into my computer, my computer recognized it as the Vegway VM30 audio device, and it was instantly good to go. So I think I've talked enough about the microphone. Let's go ahead and jump in and just do a couple audio tests and see how the microphone responds. So the first thing I want to do is I want to stop talking for a few seconds so we can get a listen to the noise floor and just listen to see if you can kind of hear an underlying static noise or some kind of a hiss noise. And right now I am tapping on the keyboard of my computer directly behind the microphone. And right now I am tapping on my desk around the microphone. I am now tapping on the stand, the tripod desk stand, and right now I am tapping on the microphone itself with my fingers. And this is how the Vegway VM30 sounds when I'm standing roughly five feet away from the microphone and talking.
Hey, what's up guys? So it's actually the next day and I was just editing this video. Um, yesterday, I actually finished recording the video and everything, but as I was editing it, I kind of noticed something else that kind of changed my opinion on the microphone. So I kind of felt like it was necessary to re-record the ending of this video. So let me just start off with some of the basic stuff that I noticed. Um, when it comes to monitoring the microphone with headphones, if you're plugged straight into the microphone, you know, you are able to monitor the audio. However, the audio is just a lot noisier when you're monitoring the audio compared to what you're actually recording. So what it's what you're hearing right now actually sounds a lot better than what I'm hearing as I'm recording this video. I hope that makes sense. And the next thing is, is that sometimes, actually most of the time, I prefer to monitor audio through plugging into my audio interface or plugging straight into my computer. However, if you do that with this microphone, the Vegway microphone, there is kind of a noticeable delay when you're monitoring your audio that way, and it's kind of annoying. So you kind of have to monitor through the microphone itself. So you kind of have to plug into the microphone. As for the noise floor of this microphone, it's just a little bit louder than what I would like it to be. I feel like it is kind of on the loud side, not terrible, but a little bit on the loud side. There's definitely that noticeable hiss noise under my voice when I talk. But the worst thing for me, which I didn't notice until I was editing this video because I was making sure that my volume levels were loud enough, I noticed that this microphone does this weird thing where the microphone itself, I feel like, is clipping my voice. So what happens is the louder parts of my voice get clipped and it kind of sounds distorted. And the reason that I know that this is being caused by the microphone and not in my computer is because I am recording directly into Logic Pro and I can see my volume levels are well below zero decibels. I have quite a lot of headroom. And even when I went into my system preferences, before I started recording this video yesterday, I made sure that I brought down the mic input volume so that it wouldn't clip. So the clipping is definitely taking place inside the microphone. I don't know if it's some sort of built-in compression feature or what it is, but it is definitely causing some noticeable distortion on the louder parts of my voice. So I just wanted to mention that really quick, and that's actually the main reason that I decided to re-record the ending of this video, because yesterday I didn't notice that. So after having said all that, this microphone costs $32.99. I would say that there are definitely better microphones in this price range. For example, the microphone that I talk about all the time, the Moono PM461TR, or if you would like a microphone with similar features to this microphone, um, there's the JLab TalkGo. I believe that microphone goes for around $40, so it's a little bit more expensive, but in my opinion, the price difference is well worth it. So yeah, I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments below if you heard that distortion that I was talking about. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this microphone. And once again, guys, um, if anyone is interested, I will have the Amazon link to this microphone down in the description of this video in case you do want to check that out for yourself. And if you did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. If you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I upload new microphone videos every Monday. I call it Microphone Mondays. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.